Have you ever read a comment on your videos that makes you question yourself and it just makes you feel bad about what you're doing? If you have, let's talk about that. Hey Freedom, what's up? Welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. It's really annoying and just mean to read comments that make you doubt yourself and to know that someone is out there giggling and having fun with your misery. In this episode, let's talk about why they do, what they do, and how to stop them from bothering you. So first and foremost, what are trolls? Trolls are people who prey on online people to get them to say something they will regret or they want to ruin someone's day. The SciShow, however, categorizes trolls as someone who irritates others for the sake of a joke. They also categorize these people as griefers in online gaming. Have you ever encountered someone like that? Let us know in the comments section below. Anywho, you might be wondering why trolls do what they do. Experts, and I mean psychologists, they say that these two things are what makes them do what they do. So number one of that is dissociative anonymity. This means that people online are able to hide their identity from the online community meaning there will be no consequences that will trigger or affect their everyday lives. So in a way, they do this because there will be no repercussions which in a way is kinda true. Nowadays, people can make a fake account and comment away on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, and other social media sites. Number two is minimal authority to enforce internet etiquette. So unlike in real life, there's a lot of people who will tell you that you are doing something wrong or you're doing something right. And also, there are authorities that can actually arrest you for doing things that deems to be destructive or even harmful to other people. But on social media, Facebook, YouTube, or other social media sites, there are minimal authority figures who can actually reprimand you or even arrest you. So in a way, essentially, there are no repercussions. Now we kinda understand why these trolls do what they do, let's talk about the type of trolls out there on the internet. These are just some of the types but actually there's a lot, lot more. Number one type of troll is the self-promoter. Have you ever had a comment on your social media that just promotes other content creators or even worse? their own YouTube channel. They just pop out of nowhere and put a self-promotion bomb down on your comment section. Number two is the casual perv. These trolls are one of the nastier ones. They will misconstrue everything you say and turn it into a distasteful green joke. Stay clear of these ones for they will make things inappropriate real fast. YouTube takes offense to comments that are perverted and it's your responsibility to clean it up. Number three is the grammar Nazi. They will completely make your day go from good to worst in a second or two. Not only that they will blatantly tell you what's wrong, they'll also try to make you sound really not smart. Number four is is that all you can say type of troll. Have you ever had an argument or discussion from another person and you're trying just to think of an intelligent answer then all of a sudden this guy says, is that all you can say? I mean does not that grind your gears every time when that happens? Especially in video games where you guys are discussing what happened wrong and what you could have done. It's no different from the grammar Nazi, they make you feel very little of yourself. Steer clear my friends. Now we know what these trolls are, now let's talk about how we can avoid these comments or maybe we can have a smart approach in answering their questions. Here are some tips you can do to steer clear from their ire and maybe be the better man or woman. Number one is wait. Waiting sometimes gives you the time to think about what you want to say and keep you from making mistakes that you will regret. Be calm, collect your composure, then think about what you want to say. In that way, you can make less mistakes and be the better person. You can always shoot them with kindness. Remember those bullies in your school where they kinda give up when you try to pacify their attacks against you with kindness? Well, you can do that too to diffuse attention and make yourself look good. Don't let them kill you with their violence, instead kill them with your kindness. Number 3, you can block or report them. Yep, sometimes these trolls will get the best of you. Report them to your local authorities or you can simply block them. Sometimes when things get really, really alarming and disturbing and you feel that you're not safe, always make sure to keep yourself safe by reporting and blocking them. Number four, ignore. You can ignore them if what they said is distasteful. Sometimes there are comments that just needs to be a comment. No need to fan the flames and give attention to people who will just want to ruin your day. So to recap guys, trolls are people who will just say mean things that are sometimes uncalled for. Now, there's a lot of trolls out there and you have to be ready for their advances or attacks. Now, you can always ignore, answer with kindness, block or report, or wait so you can come up with a witty answer or an educated one. Do you have any friends who are having trouble with trolls? Share this to your friends so you can help them out. Before I leave guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell icon. This has been Freedom Quick Tips and I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye!